good looking video, but it just gives us a, something to talk about. Right, so I've got it for audio listeners. Oh, well, this is it, right? It's, it's like this weird TikTok thing that was on here, right? Somebody made this like fake, deep fake Mr. Beast. Right, give me a second here. Right. Watching this video, you're one of the 10,000 lucky people who will get an iPhone 15 Pro for just two dollars. I'm Mr. Beast, and I'm doing the world's largest iPhone 15 giveaway. Click the link below to claim yours now. Yeah, it's concerning because, especially since he mentions in this tweet about how lots of people are getting this deep fake scam ad of me are social media platforms ready to handle the rise of ai deepfakes this is a serious problem and so mr beast is kind of concerned about this and there's even this guy in the comments who says have you seen this i'm surprised youtube's ads team is giving the green light for this so there's this another kind of scam with mr beast it's like everybody that visits this page this page gets a thousand dollars claim it from my video right so kind of looks like that like this scam sort of thing. I mean, we talked about. I think we did a scams episode earlier this year, but it's quite interesting how as these people try to you know make people look silly with a scam video. Oh, and it's and that's the interesting thing about this. Like it's gonna be it's gonna come to this point where you it's gonna be hard to de, like determine if it's AI or it's a human. to experience the James Rambling Show, hosted by James Bay. Hello, welcome back to the James Rambling Show for yet another episode. And in today's episode, I am going to be talking about quite a few things. And I'll, first of all, I'll be talking about this new recent Mr. Beast AI scam that was floating around the internet. But before we get into that, I did put out a couple of reviews on the new Ahsoka series and this new K-Drama film. So that once you get outside of how we did a couple getting to the point stuff, now let's get into never getting to the point. So the Mr. Beast AI scam now, if you're aware of the James Ramlin show or maybe you're confused like what is this, right? So just give a bit of context, right? So I've been talking about AI quite a few times on the podcast, like especially I even did this whole entire episode where I got chat GBT to generate these responses about the James Ramlin show and about kind of all that stuff so AI has been a very hot topic in the world lately because it's been advanced and it's getting more popular so this recent Mr Beast AI scam was pretty much like this deep fake, deep fake video that was circling the internet and this is not the first time that deep fakes have been on the internet like it's this whole entire thing that's been going on where they'll get this video of someone and they'll make it look fake and make people think that it's actually real so I'll show you the video here. It's quite a weird looking video, but it just gives us a, something to talk about. Right, so I've got it for audio listeners. Oh, well, this is it, right? It's, it's like this weird TikTok thing that was on here, right? Somebody made this like fake, deep fake Mr. Beast. Right, give me a second here. Right. Watching this video, you're one of the 10,000 lucky people who will get an iPhone 15 Pro for just $2. I'm Mr. Beast, and I'm doing the world's largest iPhone 15 giveaway. Click the link below to claim yours now. Yeah, it's concerning because especially since he mentions in this tweet about how lots of people are getting this deep fake scam ad of me, are social media platforms ready to handle the rise of AI deep fakes? This is a serious problem. And so Mr. Beast is kind of concerned about this, and there's even this guy in the comments who says, have you seen this? I'm surprised YouTube's ads team is giving the green light for this. So there's this another kind of scam with Mr. Beast. It's like everybody that visits this page, this page gets $1,000, claim it from my video, right? So kind of looks like that, like this scam sort of thing. I mean, we talked about, I think we did a scams episode earlier this year, but it's quite interesting how as these people try to you know make people look silly with a scam video oh, and it's and that's the interesting thing about this like it's gonna be it's gonna come to this point where you it's gonna be hard to de, like determine if it's ai or it's a human because the more and more and more this happens 
right, it's just going to be harder here and stuff like that. So I'll see if there's anything else we can add on to this whole entire spiel and stuff like that and all like that, right. So I think there's another there's another article here about stuff to do with this, right. So there's Mr. Beast and BBC stars used in deep fake scam videos, right. So as I'm recording this, this was about 10 days ago, but, but so it says here, Deepfakes use artificial intelligence AI to make a video of someone manipulating their face or body. Yep, that's kind of what we mentioned earlier. One such video appeared on TikTok this week, claiming to be Mr. Beast offering people new iPhone iPhones for two dollars, one pound sixty-five, right? And that's the conversion rate. The video on Facebook showed the journalist introducing Elon Musk, the billionaire owner of Twi- formerly Twitter, pop- popularly promoting an investment opportunity so they did they did a deep fake of elon musk as well previously the videos were gated by an image warning viewers that they contained false information checking by independent fact checkers full fact right blah 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 blah, blah. tiktok specifically bar specifically bars synthetic media which contains the likeliness visual audio of a real person right you see, it's just giving you kind of examples of these other people that were deep faked into these scam ads, and, and it's just kind of concerning, like how you would make, like, you know, you would trick people into thinking that this person is going to give you an iPhone 15, even though if you know about Mr. Beast, right, he's a guy that tries to help people and he tries to be nice and give money to people in like the most kind of positive way, and his content kind of revolves around that. You know what I mean? So once you get outside of that kind of stuff where we open up with an AI scam sort of thing, I do actually want to talk about get this right, Yami's new track. You know, we've totally ne- we've totally never done that before, have we? But we also have another track we can go over as well. But I didn't expect to actually do this super duper early because every time we do this it's usually like every two or three weeks, but it's now like a week later, so if, just to give you a bit of context, right, so Yami, obviously, we have been talking about him, he's this hard based creator, but he also had this track called Planet Kvass, and if you remember last week, we did kind of talk about how he used these AI art kind of slideshow looking things, and again, he did use AI art with this one, and I will play the song, and then I might even kind of elaborate on the fact that he was in the comments talking about, like, why he decided to use AI and stuff like that, so we'll read some of it, but it's such a lengthy little paragraph that I don't want to like bore you with it. So I'll give you the song, give you a bit of a give you a bit of a taste of what it has to offer. So here it is, right? So that's what it sounds like. It's not actually hard bass, which is kind of interesting. It's a, I think it's like Dark Synth or something like that. It sounds like something you'd hear in Halo or something like that. It's like, oh, like ominous music, I guess. Yeah, so it's like the synthetic kind of sound. And how do I feel about the track? Well, when it comes to this, right, it's like, it's, uh, it's not his best work, to be honest with you. Like, I've heard better songs from him. Like, it's just kind of like this lady saying, Planeta Kvass, and then this... Planeta Kvass. There's nothing really, like, interesting about it, but there was, like, the video, and the video version, approved by Planet Kvass. Right, but the, he did he did some stuff in the comments, right, where, like he was saying, this also came out randomly on a Sunday, which was interesting, so he says, been getting too many comments about using AI, for over a year AI has been going to go to for visuals as my music's popularity drops since Ru- Ukraine, Russia's Ukraine attack, interest in our base music waned, impacted my views and engagement, but I'm not one to complain, people come for my music, not complaints. Right, so I'm not going to go through the entire thing, but pretty much he was talking about as to why he did this stuff with AI, and he did say this was his spin on the planet Mountain Dew meme, which is kind of like this AI-generated images of these like really large, fat people and stuff like that. 
and so there's that but in there it says that in the actual video it says a new challenger in the soda wars much love to sweet lena lent for lending her voice right so there's that where yami's kind of new track is kind of it's kind of just like planet and i don't think a lot of people will actually like the song because i mean it's kind of random it's kind of like this dark synth stuff so We'll get into some actual real hard bass right now because I think hard bass school put out a track a couple of days ago and we can definitely go over that. And if you know about me, right, I actually like hard bass school and they somehow are kind of consistent. Like even the song they put out, it's it's catchy and I like the sound of it. So the song is called Cringe and I don't know if I can show the image, but it is kind of an interesting image they have here. Like they have these like capes on with these hats. There's this like lady nearby, but I'll give you it's in Russian as well, and I don't really uh, know the entire like what they what it means, but something to do with cringe anyway, but there you go. Yeah, There's a bit of build up in between the track though. What's it? Here we go, this is when the song starts a bit more. I will credit them so it's not against fair use or anything, so we'll be fine. I'll play a bit more because I do actually like the way the beat goes, so... Right, so that's the song. Let's see if there's anything else we can add here. This was like, I think this was the, the first song since about May, so it's been about five months and a big thing about Harvey School is they do actually put songs out months later, so they put a bit more effort in, or they schedule it maybe differently, so I definitely think that this kind of just proves that Harvey School just never disappoints with their music, like even like a lot of their tracks, they kind of are consistent, they all sound pretty good in my opinion, they have this consistent style that they always sort of stick to, and it just keeps on working and working for me. And they just kind of consistently proved that they, they aren't terrible music producers. So once we dive outside of the AI scam and we dive outside of Yami's kind of meh track and also Harvey School's never disappointing stuff like that, I do kind of want to bring it back to the Rugby World Cup, which again is kind of a different topic, but a couple of weeks ago we did actually dive into this and I believe like four or five weeks ago on the show, I kind of started to talk about that, so there was a couple more games that happened, and one of the rugby matches that I never got to cover and give my thoughts on was um the Scotland and Ireland game last week that happened. Now, uh, just to give you a bit of context, right, so last week, right, Ireland and Scotland were going against each other, and I did actually have some Guinness, and I might touch on maybe some Sober October and Guinness sort of stuff after this, but, so the game was Scotland and Ireland, and personally... It was quite a decent game in my opinion. Like you I want I was trying my best to root for Scotland, but Ireland were just too good to the point where it was thirty six fourteen to Ireland. But Scot Scotland were trying to get goals, but at the end of the it was like like sixty five minutes in is when Scotland started to get more tries. So there's that game there where Ireland bet Scotland. Now let's move on to the other match that happened today, which was actually kind of in an interesting subversion of expectations, because it was Wales versus Argentina. Now if you remember a couple of weeks ago, I did talk about how Wales thrashed Australia well. This time it didn't definitely, definitely did not hold up for Wales, because 
It was 29-17 it was 29-17 to Argentina, meaning that Argentina actually is going through to the semi-finals, which is quite an interesting upset for Wales. Like I mean they still had to commend Argentina because you, you have to be have, have a bit of a sportsmanship, you know what I mean? Like you can't be like, Oh, you suck, you suck and yeah, you can't actually be horrible. You have to respect someone even if you lose, right? That's just a bit immature if you're having a bit of sectarianism going on. So you kind of get that where you've got the new sort of rugby matches that were happening. There actually was also this like Scotland versus Spain game, which isn't rugby, but it was like this game like to qualify in the 2024 Euros or whatever. Euro qualifiers I think it was and it was on this app that you had to pay money for so I didn't get the chance to watch it but it was like a 2-0 thing and then we'll move on to maybe sober October I, it just came to mind there so this game just came to mind here so I'll just say sets this up right so 2-0 to Spain at full time and this happened on the Thursday this is the UFA UEFA Euro qualifier so it's like the United Arab Emirates Football Association I guess so that, that's kind of my thoughts on that. I never got to watch the game itself, but it just came to mind. So let's go back. Right, so I was I did mention how I had Guinness that night at the Scotland and Ireland game. So definitely, I definitely failed Sober October. Now, I don't think we've ever touched on this idea of Sober October on the James Rowland show before, but it's pretty much this concept where you can't drink for an entire month and an entire October. Right, I guess it's kind of like that whole thing with November where you can't do that certain thing. So what would I say about Guinness now though? I definitely still enjoy the drink, it's decent. But I mean, Sober October, right? Sober October, what is the Sober October month, right? It's called Sober October and it means abstaining from alcohol consumption for the entire month. By the end of October, for this events are hoping to see the benefits of a life without alcohol. That can mean weight loss, better sleep, and even improved memory, doctors say. Right, so that's kind of that stuff. But, I mean, it's not like when it comes to sober October, it's not something that I am passionate about. It's not like I need to do the sober October every single year. It's just something that's definitely came to mind. It's like, it's like the new thing that's happening. So what else can we what else can we talk about other than this whole thing to do with sober October? Well, I guess we could dive into this other such situ recent situation that happened with this YouTuber where they actually dox this person. Now this is kind of a different topic, but I actually want to talk about this because it gives me something to talk about. So I think the YouTuber was called SS Sniper Wolf and it's quite mad to say the least. Like she docks this YouTuber, so let me find it. Docks is was it Jack's films or something like that? Right, so here we go. Right, we're finding it here, so this is kind of insane stuff. I might as well just touch on this, why not, right? So there's a there's a saying here. Mm. I'll only get I've got an article here, right? So Creepy, gross, violating Jack Films accuses Sniper Wolf of doxing him, says YouTube should demonetize the dangerous creature. A major controversy recently erupted involving two well-known content creators, John Jack's Films and Alia SS Sniper Wolf. Jack's Films accused SS Sniper Wolf of doxing him, the act of revealing personal information. Yeah, we know that, but you know, you have to clarify it in the article, right? So, according to him, the YouTuber Briefly posted an image of his residence in a now deleted Instagram story. Jack's films and SS Sniper Wolf, who have a history of online disputes, saw their feud escalate when the latter reportedly posted a picture of the fo the former's house on social media. Right? And there is actually an image of the whole thing, but I am actually not gonna show you that. Like they showed it on the page, right? And it's the the website right it says, Let's talk like adults at Jack Films, like this is nice to Wolf doing it on a story but so this is the jack's films tweet that they were saying right ss sniper wolf just stalks me on our ig creepy gross violating what you do is disgusting you steal content and stalk youtubers at youtube demonetize this dangerous creature creator i just say dangerous creature dangerous creator right or just get her off of a, off your platform she posted an ig story right outside of our home and i deleted it right all right i have no idea how to dox 
SS Naval Wolf responds to Jack's films. There has been a lengthy exchange of accusations between the two content creators in the past. Right, it's kind of just repeating the whole thing there. Hopefully, uh, however, SS Naval Wolf later posted an Instagram story. Right, it's just repeating itself. What the hell? Eh. Uh, now, it says that this creep has been harassing me for months and plays victim, saying I threatened him when I just walked, wanted to talk to him. I have no ill intentions. It's so sad when people have to constantly create drama to pay their bills. So it's getting a bit spicy here. Right, there's also there's also an addition of this, right? I have no ill intentions, in quotations. SS Sniper Wolf, you showed up to, to our home tonight and filmed it for your 5 million plus IG followers to see well, that's called doxing the hit. The Congo are asking you to claim that I've been doing is documenting recent examples of you stealing co creators' content, stealing jokes and failing to provide transformative commentary. Obviously, it struck a nerve, but wow, doxing me was not on my bingo card. There is no reality where you're in the right here. So that that's kind of the whole situation. And personally, I definitely got to agree with Jack's films here. Like, doxing people just sucks and and I'm not going to go any further with this topic because really that's kind of the bottom line. I will link that whole that whole thing in the description of when I talk about this in the clip of when we talk about this whole situation. So other than that really, right, this has definitely been another case where we've dabbled, dabbled into quite a few different topics. This is our 90th episode we're on. We've got 10 more till that second year finale. So a second year celebration sort of thing and look back look back on the year stuff like that so yeah hope you enjoyed the episode stay tuned for more episodes like this if you want to go check out those reviews i will link them down in the description of this episode obviously and then we'll see you another week for the james rowling show and then maybe we'll do a few more reviews we'll see i do want to be more consistent with that so other than that right let's end the episode let's get out of here Let's give you that Saturday night, 10.30pm release indeed. So yeah, bye, 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 bye. See you next week. Bye, 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 bye.